Let's tell you that the protesters have continued to block part of the east-west road in River State for the third day. It seems they're not backing down on their demand for the reconstruction of the LMA on a section of the road without further delay. But organizers of the protest and security agencies are not leaving anything to chance. Correspondent Uji Okoro reports. This is what parts of the east-west road leading to the Port Harcourt refinery and the Orne ports look like now. Since the protest began, it's been converted to a football pitch by the protesting youths. For others, the absence of the usual hustle and bustle on the road creates time and space to unwind. But the presence of heavy-duty trucks stuck due to barricades set up by the protesters paints a better picture of the situation. Many of them have had their tires deflated. It's been a challenge to continue to ensure that the vehicles are not vandalized, to continue to ensure that other road users, those who are trekking or using motorbikes, are not molested. So it's been a challenge, but so far so good. The youth leaders have been collaborative, they have been assisting the police. So far, the message of the protesters to the government has not changed. Mobilize contractors to site immediately, they insist. It beats my imagination that a, a local government that is uh, uh, generating huge revenue for this country. Uh, it has a, a road that uh, the two major bridges uh, to, that leads to the uh, seaports and the refineries is at the brink of collapse and nobody is talking about it and we expect us uh, uh, as a government at the lo lower level here to keep quiet or, or applaud them. No, we will not do that. I know that um, the Minister for Niger Delta has been here in December last year and he told us that something will be done. So I haven't waited from that December till now and nothing. The people mobilize on the road. Between government and the people, it is now a question of who blinks first as the protest threatens to continue indefinitely. As soon as we can extract uh, a serious commitment from the federal government, then I will, I will speak to my people, they will listen and uh, we will leave the place. But at, at the moment, we, well, I don't think uh, there is any seriousness from the, the federal government. So we must, uh, we'll, uh, we'll allow them to continue to express their, their, their displeasure because uh, the, we are not insensitive to the plight of our people. Determination here on the side of the people. But as they wait for action from government, the sufferings of thousands of commuters plying this road on a daily basis continues. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.